Today we're gonna try something new, something new to me anyway. When I check for varroa mites, I usually use the sugar roll method. It's proved to be an effective way of monitoring for mites. So this is something that every beekeeper has to do. You gotta check your mite levels. It's one of those things, um, just comes with the territory. If the mites get too high, you gotta decide if you wanna treat or um, some people don't treat. Um, they use other methods such as brood breaks. One way or the other, you really need to know your mite levels. So I typically use a sugar roll and the sugar roll works great. There's nothing wrong with it. Um, but I wanna try something new this time. And it's the, probably the simplest way of monitoring for mites on a continual basis throughout the beekeeping season. And that's using the Varroa sticky board drop method. Actually, I don't know the real term for it off the top here, um, but it's essentially um, painting the bottom board of the hive with a sticky substance like Vaseline or something along those lines. Some people use Crisco and um, you let the mites naturally fall off the, the bees as they do and they'll get trapped on the sticky substance on the bottom and then you can count them after a period of time. So it could be 24 hours, uh, 48, 36 hours, whatever that time frame you want it to be. So I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna uh, get some Vaseline. I'm gonna uh, paint the bottom boards and we're gonna try this out over a 24 hour period just to see how it works and see what kind of mite drop we get. So. Without further ado, let's get to it. So all these hives here have what's called screened bottom boards. So it makes it really easy to do a Varroa mite drop check because you can just slide out those the little inserts at the bottom. Um, it, it, they have a, a meshed bottom screen um, on top and you slide that out and then you can um, put your piece of paper with the sticky substance on top right on that bottom board. So there it is. Uh, you can see it's pretty, pretty nasty right now. It's full of all sorts of bits that fall down from the hive. A lot of, looks like a lot of pollen has fallen down. Um, even a bit of mold down there, a bit of moisture, um, not, a, not a ton some comb so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna scrape this off and prepare it for the uh, the sticky paper all right we've got our Vaseline ready we've got a paintbrush ready got some manila folders ready question is am I ready okay here we go. So this folder is going to go down inside like that. I'm not, I'm not going to worry about covering the entire surface. Folders in, and then I'm just going to paint that folder with Vaseline. It's hard to tell, but it is painted with Vaseline now. So, next step, put it back inside underneath that screen bottom board. Give it at least 24 hours. Pull it out and check how many mites have dropped. There, just like that. Easy peasy. Amazing. 
Uh, that was so easy. Um, I think next time I'll get a bigger thing of Vaseline. Um, you know, that little jar doesn't go very far, it looks like. So I think we'll leave it at that for now and um, just uh, check back probably in 24 hours. I think uh, I'm not going to wait to 24, 36. I'm going to wait 24 and uh, just see what kind of mite count we might drop we get after 24 hours. Okay, it's been 48 hours. Let's check out the uh, sticky boards and just see what kind of mite drop we got. We've got the bottom trays out. Normally I would take these inside and in inspect them a little bit more closely and in a cleaner environment, but for the sake of this video, we'll just check it out here. Let's take a quick look. Now you can see there's just a ton of debris, so this method is actually not as easy as it seems because you have to sort through all this debris and be able to identify the mites. So I, as I'm looking, I do see a couple here and there. So I'm just scanning quickly right now each one to see the general count. And then we'll take a close up look. So one way that people do this to make it a little bit easier is they would divide this, get a pencil or a pen and divide this into grid lines. So vertical and horizontal so that you, you get squares of, um, of, of the sticky bottom board. And then you just go from square to square or grid section to grid section and count in each section. And then you get the overall count. That way you just don't get lost. It's just easier to not get lost as you're going through and counting. Okay, so not a huge mite drop here, but um, there are a couple mites and uh, I'll show you a closer look. You're looking for sort of a reddish, browny color little mite. Um, yeah, they're, they're very tiny, about the size of a pinhead, so not easy to see. Sometimes you might be better off looking at with a, a magnifying glass or something. But um, in all honesty, this method is, is kind of time consuming, I'm finding. So I think I'll probably stick to my sugar roll, um, even the alcohol wash. But I find the sugar wash or the sugar roll really seems to be about as effective, at least in my experience. Anyway, let's take a closer look and see if we can find one of these mites, um, just so you have a better idea of what they look like. Really tricky to see. There's one right there. So there's maybe three or four, probably four, on this board. And this is from the large hive right there. So this early in the spring, I would expect that that's a reasonable amount of mite drop. Uh, it certainly needs to be monitored. Let's put these trays back in underneath. We'll see you on the other side.